Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 36 of my SPSS tutorial videos here on YouTube. Today we're going to have a look at quite a difficult topic which is the repeated measures ANOVA, which is a bit more comprehensive than uh, the univariate ANOVA and the multivariate ANOVA. I recommend watching videos about those first, so my previous episodes, because if you understand those, that will definitely help you in understanding the repeated measures ANOVA. And first of all, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, because I want to make this channel grow as much as possible. So every piece of help would be very much appreciated. So today we're going to have a look at sports students. And there are two different groups of sports students, of football players actually. Group number one and group number two. And they had to do their basic training, so their midweek training. And they had to make a psychological test before and after the practice. And they were measuring four different psychological elements, being IM, PC, R, and PA. And uh, those, had to, had the, those tests had to be filled in before and after the training. So that creates a total of eight scores being I am before the training, I am after the training, PC before the training, PC after the training, R before the training, R after the training, PA before the training, and PA after the training. And because there are two different groups, you're gonna, you're gonna have, uh, because there are two different groups, this means that if you combine this, that this is a four times two times two model. There are four elements times two moments in time, times two different groups and we want to know uh, to make it a bit uh, to make it a bit more uh, clear what we are actually doing research on we're gonna research today two questions which is number one was there a difference in the four elements at the start between the two groups and did the intervention significantly impact the four elements in both groups those are the two questions we want to find an answer to and to do that, we're going to go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Repeated Measures, and then we're going to, uh, I'll quickly delete those. Uh, we have two within subject vectors, which first of all are the elements, of which there are four levels, and the test moment, which I will call, uh, which I will call moment. And there are two levels of those before and after these are your two these are your two within subject vectors because those make up the eight different scores there's also the group but that is a with uh, but that is a between subject vector so then you press define and then this, i had already had to fill this in because i practiced a bit then you get these eight moments these eight scores which you have to manually fill in and if we take a look at element number one, moment number one, that is I am before. Then element number one at moment number two is I am after. Element number two, moment number one is PC before. Well, and in the, the, you continue this for all the four elements at the two moments. And then you get this. And then the between subject vector is group. It's not a within subject, it's a between subject. Okay, then model, contrast and plots, you can leave as it is. At post hoc, you select the factor group and you can select either LSD, Bonferroni or Chuki, but in this case, you're gonna select Bonferroni. And then at estimated marginal means, you're gonna select all those possible. So uh, overall until group times elements times moments and then compare the main effects with, in this case, Bonferroni. And then at options, you're going to select descriptive statistics, estimates of effect size, observed power, parameter estimates, and the homogeneity test. And then you press continue. Then you're going to go to, uh, then you press paste, and then you go to your syntax. And then if you go to your syntax, this is the first time that we're going to do something very special, which is that we're going to manually alter the syntax code. Because if you would just comp uh, if you would just run this selection of codes, we wouldn't get all the details we want. We want to get as much details as possible, and therefore we're gonna copy this line 
you're going to copy it and then you paste it twice underneath. And then after moment, we're also going to add the other two independent variables. So moment times elements times uh, uh, times group. And you're going to do the same below. So moment times elements elements times group and then after compare between brackets your one's gonna add group and one's gonna add the uh, moment because we want to have more data we want to have more values about the different groups compare them and we're also going to want to compare the moments so this is how you manually alter your syntax you may uh, by adding uh, two different compare lines then you select the code and press the big green play button. Okay, and what you then get in your output screen is a shitload of, excuse my language, you get so many different tables. So really take your time, approach this very carefully uh, and take your time to interpret all the data because it starts over here and it continues all the way down there's so much data to so many values to be found but you only need quite, uh, you only need a few of those so don't panic and we're just going to run through it step by step first you get the uh, first you get the frequency tables which is not important and then you get to the multivariate tests and before we take a look at those you're first going to take a look at the Mauchly's test of sericity which needs to be above 0.05. And you can see that for elements and for elements times moment, the significance level is higher than 0.05. So you can say that the requirements of Mauchly's test have been met. And we're gonna have, uh, have a look at a bit lower at the Levine's test for all the different, uh, for all the different scores. And you want those significance level also to be higher than 0.05. You can see that that is the case for seven out of eight scores. You can see that the last one, so the second test uh, after the uh, for the PA value, it is 0.024, which is not uh, which is lower than the 0.05 mark, but it's not drastically wrong. So you can just continue, and you can say that you have met both the Levine's test and Mauchly's test. Of, uh, uh, of equality. You can say that you have met those requirements. Then if we're going to take a look at the multivariate tests. At first you take a look at elements and then if you look at Pillai's trace you can see that the significance level is 0.002 which means that the four elements significantly differ from each other in their scores which is not def which is not necessarily what we wanted to know but it is a very clear outcome. If you then take a look at group times elements, you can see that it's also significant. So you can uh, therefore conclude that group is a significant moderator for elements. And then if you take a look at moments, you can see at the Pillai trace that it's 0 0.307, which would mean that there is no significant difference uh, between the before tests and the after tests, which would be quite, uh, which wouldn't be uh, really ideal because you want the intervention, the training, you want them to improve their psychological scores. But this suggests uh, on a global scale that it didn't. You can see that group is, the. if you uh, look at moment times group, you can see that it's 0.030, therefore it is significant. So group is a moderator, significant moderator for the moment variable and um, for the moment vector. And moment is also, uh, moments is not a moderator for elements and if you take a look at the final one elements times moments times group you can see that it's 0 0.011 so that there are differences between those different groups and which is quite obvious so this uh this significance value you shouldn't pay too much attention to it uh we already took a look at uh Mauchly's test of sericity uh so we know uh, if you take a look if you go back to what we wanted to know we wanted to know uh, was there a difference in the four elements at the start between the two groups? And then we're going to take a look. You're just going to scroll down and take a look for when you actually see those data. And it was 
was there a, was there a difference in the four elements at the start of the two groups? So did the two groups differ before the uh, training got started? And if you then scroll down until I see it, um, yeah. Uh, if you scroll down um, up till uh, section number five, which is moment times elements times group, you can see that at moment number one, so before the training uh, was held, that for the four elements, were there differences between the groups? No. You can conclude, uh, well, th these are the means, uh, uh, pardon me. If you look lower uh, at the pairwise comparisons, if you're gonna look at moment number one, and then compare the elements for the two groups, you can see that for element one, the two groups did not differ significantly. For element number two, the two groups didn't. For, gr uh, for element number three, they didn't. And only for uh, element number four, the groups were significantly different at the start. And this is quite crucial information uh, if you want to uh, base, if you want to really make conclusions uh, conclusions on this research. So the first question was: There a difference in the four elements at the start between the two groups? We can conclude that uh, there wasn't for the first three elements, but there was a difference for the fourth element. Okay, and then secondly, did the inv did the intervention significantly impact the four elements in both groups? They're gonna go back and just look until you find the table which actually shows that. And I think it's over here. Um, yeah, it's over here. And this is section number six, which is again moments times elements times groups. And if you then look at the pairwise comparisons, you can see that for element number one, in group number one, the before and after moments did change significantly. So for group number one, their element number one, psychological element number one, did change significantly during the training. So uh, during the before and after moments. This is not the case for group number two. On element number two, uh, element number two also didn't uh, change significantly between the, uh, between the two test moments. If we then take a look at group number three, you can see that if you look at the significance levels, that again it is not significant. And that at element number four, for group number two, there was a significant difference between, uh, between moment one and moment two, because the significance level is 0 0.042. So that means that for the, uh, that for the four elements and the two groups, only twice did it change over time. So if we, that is the that is the answer to this question, did the intervention significantly impact the four elements in both groups? Then your conclusion would be that the intervention did not change six uh, uh, three elements in both groups, and that in both groups only one element significantly changed due to the intervention over time. So that is how to basically, and there are far more. There are far more uh, uh, tables to take a look at, which you can just discover for yourself. But this is the most important thing. Uh, and if you also wanted to know the general, the general effect of groups, you can see that over, uh, over here, you can see that the groups them uh, that the groups as a whole did not signif significantly differ. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. I hope this helped you to make sense of this huge, huge ANOVA. But like I said, take your time and just look at what you're, uh, just look very slowly for what you're looking. It's a very detailed, uh, it's a very detailed ANOVA. Uh, but I hope that this helped. If it did, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll be back for another video very, very soon. Bye bye.